Hi everyone, um, I'm here to show you today how to make GIF files very, very small in file size. Uh, basically, when you make a GIF, um, it'll come out to be any number of different file sizes. Um, but when you go to upload them to social media, a lot of times they'll ask for a much, much smaller file than you may have exported from Photoshop or After Effects. Uh, so uh, what you can do to kind of get around this is we're actually going to use a third-party service called uh, GIFCAT or GIFYCAT. Uh, it's G-F-Y-C-A-T dot com. It is a free service, um, which means that the licensing laws might not be totally, um, let's see, they might ask for some kind of uh, reproduction rights to your work. Uh, but we're just going to grab these and we're just going to run a few GIFs through this uh, right now. Um, again, with the reproduction stuff, that's just... Uh, uh, the cost of doing business on the internet. Um, so, you know, uh, ideally they won't make any money from your from your work, uh, but just be aware of that, that this is a free website, so there might be some stuff in the terms of service that you may like or not like. In any case, uh, let's go ahead and start our process here. Basically, we have our file that we've exported from uh, Adobe After Effects, and right now you can see that it's about 21 megabytes, and that's a bit bigger than we want. Um, usually if we upload to, say, Twitter, they're really only going to want, I believe it's three or five megabytes is the limit. Um, and it's very difficult to get down that far in Photoshop or um, After Effects. So we're just going to go ahead and use this service. We're going to upload the files, and then it's going to process them. And then we're going to download those files as yet even smaller files. Um, so I'm here at uh, giphycat.com slash upload. You just go to giphycat.com and then click on this upload button right here. And it brings you to this page. Um, and then, let's see, it'll say choose files to upload, but I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop that uh, right onto there. Um, and you can see here, uh, it's now processing. Uh, it's encoding the video, which is going to take a few minutes. If your video is longer, it's going to take quite a bit longer. Um, so this is a 21 megabyte file. It's taking a few minutes. Uh, this is a 30 megabyte file, and that took, uh, I'd say, maybe two or three minutes. Down here was a 200 megabyte file. I was just running some tests. And that took about maybe five or 10 minutes to process and encode. Uh, so for this part, you're really just kind of twiddling your thumbs and watching the cat unroll the toilet paper. Um, and then as soon as it's done, there we go. Okay, so we're all done. Um, just as a note, uh, you can't actually edit the title of this uh, because they're gonna host this on their website now, just as just a huge archive of, archive of gifts. Uh, so if you do wanna um, start an account so you, that you can label these and have these done all nicely, you can sign up over here. Uh, but for now, we're just using their free service. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click on that main thumbnail to get to the gift page. Let's close that down there. Um, okay, so now this is gonna be a little bit of a weird process. Um, you can see the gift is playing now. Uh, but we actually need to find out, we need to find the um, URL uh, to download these uh, files. It's gonna have a large file and a small file for us to download. I'm going to click pause over here, and then if you go over here to the right, there's a little paper airplane icon, and that's the icon that you want. So you want to click on that paper icon, um, and then it's going to give you the share file. It's going to give you the options to share to a lot of different social media. You can actually share it straight from there if you'd like, uh, but what we want is we want to download the GIF. So you want to come down here to this little download icon where it says GIF, and then click on that. And it's going to give you these two options. And uh, basically, this is a very small GIF that has been made. It's under two megabytes. So most places absolutely will accept this GIF. Uh, and then a slightly larger GIF, which I'm going to guesstimate is going to come out to about three or four megabytes. Uh, so let's go ahead and highlight this. And then you can copy it. Uh, just press copy to copy. And then we're going to start up a new tab. And then we're going to paste this in the address bar and click Return. And now we can see our GIF. It's a little tiny. The quality might not be so great, but it's very, very small file size, which is what we're looking for. Uh, so we're going to right click on it and then click on Save Image As. And then we're just going to save it right to the desktop and we're going to call this GIF Very Small One. And then Save. And so that'll save to our desktop. And let's check that file size. GIF very small one, and now it's down to 1.8 megabytes, which is amazing. Uh, it's much smaller. It's 300 by 168. The quality is so of uh, the line work is so-so. It's not wonderful, but it will work. Um, let's go ahead and also grab the other uh, slightly larger GIF. Uh, so we've got the second one down here. Let's click on copy. 
and then we'll start a new tab and then we'll paste and hit return to go to that and you can see this one's a little bit bigger the quality is still so so um, but again it's going to have that smaller file size so let's right click on that and go to save image as and then again we'll save this as gif very small slightly larger and then we'll save that and let's go check and see how big this file is and now it's four and a half megabytes uh, so again that's much much smaller we started off at 21 megabytes um, so now we have one that's 1 1.8 and one that's uh, 4.5 um, you can see now that they are a lot smaller uh, but the file sizes are smaller as well so from here you can upload them to Twitter Facebook uh, whatever you'd like and uh, hopefully it won't give you any trouble about file sizes uh, so that is the end of the video. I hope you found it helpful, and please shoot me an email if you have any questions.